Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. I got a quick little update to do, but first let me fix this thing right here. Let's just pretend uh, we didn't even see that there. That fell off from the second level up there, so eh, let's not worry about that. But in the meantime, things are growing nicely. As you see over here in my germination kit, you can see the tray has um, quite a bit happening. Let's kind of open this up, see what's going on. Uh, over here I got a bunch of tomato plants. These are all dwarf uh, miniature tomato plants. These are the mini bell tomatoes. So they're growing nicely. This one over here as well. Uh, I got a beautiful cucumber plant. We're going to do some something nice with that a little bit later. Let's just first show what we got going on. We got some pak choy. I planted this. Th these are uh, dwarf, uh, should be like a dwarf size as well. Uh, we got some beautiful Swiss chard up there up top that's beginning to sprout. Hopefully I get a nice array of colors, some red, some yellow, some some greens. The root system is also going to reflect the color of the plant, so that's going to be beautiful. I absolutely love how the roots look. Gorgeous. Uh, this is finally spinach sprouted a little bit. You can see this is the first one that popped up. Now, yesterday I had a basically the seed that was stuck on it. So I could post a picture at the end of the video. I'll show you guys what it looks like maybe. Uh, but you could see didn't do too much damage a little bit up top right there but it's gonna bounce back very soon so hopefully that comes back to life really soon and starts kicking off a bunch of things over here are not sprouted yet i'm waiting for the peppers to sprout we got some um uh we got some more some more greens some mixed lettuces some dill, the dill sprouted i can see over here we got two of them over here and the pepper is looking beautiful guys look at this i topped this off a couple days ago I showed you guys we did it together. Now look at the, these leaves. It's been about a week or so. And they're looking nice and healthy, beautiful green. And you could see in between... Oops. Right here. Come on, what's going on? In between right here, you could see beautiful new growth beginning to come out. In between the nodes over here. So we got some beautiful side shoots beginning to, to come up. Look at this guy's beautiful looking plant. And I've yet to do a nutrient change, so I'm gonna have to do that right now. So when we lift it up, you can see what the root system looks like. And it's just about done with the nutrients in there. Now I use the mixture of Master Blend, Calcium Nitrate, and Epsom Salt. I'll, I'll do a separate video on how to mix that together. I have a bunch of those already. If you guys wanna look, you could definitely find some of that information down below. But in the meantime, things are doing really well. Uh, what's this over here guys? What do you think this is growing? This might be a volunteer plant. I'm not sure what this is. Mislabeled, forgot to label this one unfortunately. So, don't think it's anything that I planted. It might be just like a random weed. But before I pluck it, what do you guys think this is? So I'm gonna put that down. Hopefully post a message down below what you guys think that plant is. But in the meantime, let's basically kick things off over here and show you how I'm gonna take this cucumber plant. Now you could see the color difference first the, in the cocoa core. This one is nice and dry. You could see that it looks basically light brown. And I just watered these a few minutes ago. They look nice, like, like a dark, beautiful dark color. So you could see, you could see it. You could feel the difference in weight as well. Big difference in weight. The reason why I did that is because I want the root, the, the cocoa core to fall right off the roots. Now me just holding the plant like this, you could even see all the roots right there on the inside of the cup. I planted this this cucumber on the 26th, as you see, of March. What's today? I think I believe it's the 4th of, um, of April. So it's, that's been just about a week, maybe a little bit less than that. Beautiful amount of growth in that time. You could see the first true leaf is about to come up right there in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and put it into a hydroponic system like you see in front of you here. Uh, before that, what I decided to do was yesterday is I took another jar. And I just took like basically one of these clear jars. This is a quart size mason jar like that is right over there. It's a great size to use when you first start. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And I have a ton of space to grow up top. Is I used a different paint that I had just to paint the jar. This is the first um, coat that I had. What do you guys think? Do you like the new color? I just used basically one of the... I had like a little random paint jar that I had left around the house. This was like a sample jar and really small it doesn't cost much a couple dollars i think it was so a little paint goes a long way you can see this is the first coat definitely needs a second coat maybe a third but most likely two coats will probably be 
be sufficient and overall looking really good so I'm gonna use that I noticed the black jars a um, couple bad things about it is um, it heats up really well. well I don't know if that's actually a good thing but it heats up a lot so when you touch it when you feel it you could definitely feel it to the touch it it's a lot hotter than this jar was I had them both under the lights kind of at the same time just to see how hot does this paint get although it still gets a little bit hot I might switch all together from um, from these jars or maybe I might keep a couple of jars but I am definitely debating on, on doing like a flood and drain system or like a like an NFT system something like that maybe getting like a little bit larger since I definitely have the space now so I could definitely kind of you know try a few more things out so definitely we'll be, we'll be doing that but in the meantime let's basically take this cucumber plant and transplant that so what I'm going to do is really simple is take the cucumber and uh, I made a mess right there. That's all right. Let's bring it over here where the cocoa core is. And just kind of grip it like this. Press with the other hand. With the other. Since I'm using one hand, so I'll just squeeze it with one hand. And just kind of shake it out a little bit. While supporting the plant on the opposite end. And lift that cup right off. So carefully drop that move that cup out of the way look at this beautiful root system guys cucumber plant is a heavy feeder so I have to water this little cup that's that's like a was it like a two inch cup something like that it's a two and a half ounce cup and I have to water it basically twice a day so you can see this beautiful beautiful root system so first thing I want to do is basically shake off the cocoa core here now what I'm gonna do is just kind of simply hold it in my hand and nice and gently just kind of like tickle the roots you don't want to be too aggressive you don't want to damage the root system uh, the harder you pull on it it's really easy to damage the roots and rip them off so since I'm using one hand unfortunately I don't have oh wait uh, you know what oh yes a little bit of water so it's kind of let's try to carefully right right and on the roots only. Now ideally you would want to run this like under like some water, try to like take off as if you especially if you're using soil, wash off the soil completely as best as you can. But I'm using cocoa core so it's not so bad. And a little cocoa core in my system is not gonna do any damage at all. So that's what the root system will we have for you guys. Let me show you a close up. Beautiful looking roots. Sorry about the noise, if you're wondering what that is, that's this fan over here. Keeping things nice and cool from my beautiful plants over here. As you see, the herbs are doing lovely. So now that that's done, let's put that down for a moment. And next thing we need is a net cup. Any size will do, but I'm gonna use a three inch net cup since that's what fits perfectly for the wide size mason jar. And let's actually bring that over just to make it a little bit easier. And let's put that right in there. You know what? Nah. Put on the side right here guys to be a little easier to show you that, so you can see what i'm doing and let's move it over and tip it over this way perfect now we're going to grab the plant and carefully just lay that inside and i'm going to grab some of these clay pebbles this is hydrogen it's a expanded clay base basically expanded rock heated at a really high temperature and it absorbs water really well it's a great media for hydroponics and I really enjoy it, especially the fact that there's no soil in here. Kind of mi mitigates the chances of getting these like all those pests and spider mites and aphids, all those pesky little things that you guys want to try to keep away from your system as best as possible. So ideally you would want to use two hands when you're doing this and try to kind of position it and hold the plant in the center. But since I'm using one hand, you guys see what's going on this is the best i could do but i think we're doing a good job together right now so overall you're going to see the plant is going to be nice and stable right here in the center and let's finish packing that in a couple more don't just drop it on it because you're going to damage the roots probably so just nice and easy Almost done guys. 
So we're going a little slow, just want to make sure everything is done nicely and the plant is not damaged. If you damage the root system, it's definitely going to set it back a little bit and the growth is going to take a lot longer. So I'm not trying to slow anything down. I need cucumbers and I need them now. Now we're probably going to have to wait about like good two months, maybe three months. No, not probably two months, maybe less. And we'll have some beautiful cukes growing and this is a self-pollinating cucumber plant I, if i didn't mention it earlier so we're gonna have a ton of cucumbers that are growing off this plant i'm not gonna have to do much besides come in and harvest so I'll show you the growth step by step i'm debating if we're gonna do a cracky system all the way or should we do a deep water culture system what do you guys prefer to see let me know down below so that's what we got right now let me show you guys up close you could see oh, let me kind of hold that down a little bit up top and flip it around. You guys can see at the bottom, the root system is going to come out. You can see it's already beginning to poke out a little bit there on the side. That's perfect. I would have loved for it to come out a little bit more, but this is all you need. Now, only thing you want to do is, let me put this down, is fill up the glass jar with some water, which I don't have in the moment. So I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to fill it up basically up until I would say right under here under that first notch just to give it this little space right here for the root system to kick off and that'll give it about a couple of days of absorbing and growing for the roots and the plant will definitely kick it off so we're going to come back in about a week i'll show you guys what this cucumber is going to look like and i'm sorry i'm not going to fill it up with water i'm going to fill it up with hydroponic fertilizer i'm going to be using the same master blend two grams calcium nitrate two grams and epsom salt one gram and I'm gonna bring it to the level that I showed you guys. Paint this jar one more, one more coat, and it should be good to go. So I'm gonna place that somewhere over there, maybe a little bit higher, and it's looking beautiful, guys. So that's the plant, that's what we got for you right now. Hopefully that helped you to show you how to plant it into an easy hydroponic Kratky system. Super easy and quick way to do it. So if you liked the episode, please guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Post any messages down below. I'm gonna mix up some hydroponic fertilizer. I got my jars ready and we're gonna be transplanting. I'm sorry, we're gonna be changing the nutrients over here. So we're gonna be back soon for more guys, as always. Thanks for watching.